Hey y'all, so I hope that your week has been great. Um, I just wanted to get on and chat for a little bit today about uh, some of the changes that we've made with my oldest. Um, we've kind of made it for the whole family, and so it's been kind of interesting and kind of scary, I'm not going to lie, um, because it, they're just diet changes, and so it's kind of scary just because I've not done, I've not used a lot of these things before, and so um, we have gone preservative-free, artificial color-free, and artificial sugar-free for the last month, almost, almost last month. So about three weeks now. We started on the 1st of February, so about three weeks now. And it has been interesting. First of all, I will say that personally, I have, um, oh, and we've gone kind of gluten-free. So we take glutens out if we can or if we feel like it. Um, but for the most part, I kind of leave it in. Well, that's not true. So for some things, I leave it in if I know that they don't have a ton of sugars in it. And so I just let it happen. But like breads and stuff, I have to be careful with because they do tend to have a lot of that artificial sugar. And you can't really find anything with natural sugars in it. Um, so there's that. And then um, I've also been... Oh, cakes and stuff. I've been doing gluten-free, which is super intriguing. Because I have noticed that there's a huge difference in baking without gluten. Um, and so I've been learning a little bit about that over the last week or so. Because I felt so horrible on my daughter's birthday. She was so sweet about it, but it was not good. It was not good. Like, I make, pa I make pancakes for breakfast on the morning, on their birthdays. And when I made their pancakes that morning, um, they were dry. It was so bad. So, so bad. She goes, mom, thanks for trying. And then after her cake, which was super granular and also not good, <laughs> she was like, mom, you did a good job. You at least tried. Thank you so much for at least trying. And I was like, you are the sweetest little girl ever. <laughs> Cause I, ugh, it was bad y'all. It was bad. So my point is, is that it's an intriguing process. So if you do it, um, I would definitely look into how to bake with it because you don't realize how many items you use that have gluten. Um, and so it's definitely not as easy as it sounds. So um, for me though, personally, I'll get to Austin in a minute, my ADHD ODD baby. Well, he's not a baby, he's seven, almost eight. But still, he's my baby. Um, but for me, I feel that... So February, I call my fat month. I have my oldest daughter's birthday on the 1st. And then I have her heart anniversary on the 10th. And then I have... She had open heart surgery on the 10th. And so I have her open heart surgery on the 10th. And then I have Valentine's Day on the 14th. My nephew's birthday on the 15th. I have my son's birthday on the 17th. My oldest son's birthday with ADHD and ODD. He's on the 17th. My dad's birthday is on the 28th. No, 29th. No, 28th. On the 28th. Um, and then my baby, my youngest daughter's birthday is on March 7th. <laughs> so all month long, I have some kind of sugar or some kind of cake. And I always dread February for that one reason. But this month, even though I've been... Um, eating a lot more uh, sugars, I honestly haven't gained anything. And I've actually lost weight this month, which I found completely intriguing. I didn't realize how much preservatives kind of play into our diet and how um, when we take that out, we actually help with a lot of stuff, with our, a lot of our inflammation and stuff like that. And also, I didn't realize that artificial sugars... Um, because they are more carbs, I didn't realize how they could make you gain weight so much more. And so I'm super intrigued and I'm super grateful that I found this and that I have so many amazing friends who are willing to help me because like I said, this baking process is completely different. And so I do have some really great friends who have been able to help me to understand how to bake better because this is not easy. Um, and they have mercy on my poor children's souls. So I make the birthday cake for their birthday day, 
but we have a birthday party and I buy a birthday cake for that usually because I'm not brave enough to buy it or to make it for their party. I'm not going to lie. Um, but so it's been intriguing. I've, I've also still been working out though. So that might help out a little bit, but still, I don't think, I think if anything, I should have just maintained weight and I've been losing weight. Like the pants I just bought that are a size uh, smaller than what I uh, was able to fit into really, like they were a little tight, are now loose on me. So that to me tells me that I'm on the right track, at least for me. Um, and then my oldest is detoxing. <laughs> So this is fun. So did you know that whenever you have ADHD and ODD, when you detox, your symptoms become worse. So my, my son who did not usually steal has stolen from us. My son who does not usually, well, he lies, but not, not very much. And he's not very bad about it, but he lately I've noticed he's been willing to stretch the truth a little bit more. Um, and he's been acting out a lot more. And so I'm intrigued because like I said, uh, because we're almost at the month mark with him. Um, we're about three months, three weeks in and I kind of wonder if when we get closer to six weeks, if everything will just kind of mellow out again. Cause I've heard from people who have done this diet with their children that, it's, it takes a little bit of time. Like that's the reason why they go like stage one is what it's called. Um, the reason why they go so extreme for the first stage is because when you go that extreme, you're able to detox and get all the stuff out of your system that you don't need anymore. And then from there you can go and add a few things back in to kind of see what works best for you and what has, what, T what triggers things. So like there are certain things like my son cannot eat cane sugar. Um, and I recently learned that that's a stage below or a step below, um, table sugar. So that explains why he can't eat it because if he eats it, he goes crazy the next day. My son cannot have regular artificial sugar. It makes him insane. Uh, my son cannot have anything with, um, I believe any preservatives. We tried a couple of things with preservatives just because it was convenient. We had it on hand. And the next day was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. So he can't have preservatives. The artificial colors, I'm not so sure of. Just because that was the easy thing for me to just kind of take out of our diet, we don't really eat a lot of stuff with artificial sugar anyways, to be completely honest. Like, it's just not something we do. Um, and so those two things I noticed were like the main thing. Although I also noticed on the days that he doesn't have gluten, he's also a lot better as well. So I kind of wonder if he has a gluten intolerance as well. I mean, you never know unless it's just like the attitude change kind of thing. Um, so it's intriguing to me how it all works out and how our body chemistry kind of works together. I also have him take certain vitamins. Like I said in one of my other videos, he takes Slim with me, so he balances out his blood sugar levels. He takes something called Active, which helps to kind of cut down on his energy, believe it or not. Um, and it has ginseng in it, so that helps with that as well. And then he also takes a multivitamin with a ton of vitamins in it and some minerals. And then he also takes um, Omega X, so his omegas, and... He takes his B vitamins to the multivitamin. And so I'm kind of intrigued because a lot of these things really play together and they all work so well together and they all are just married very, very intriguingly well. And so I want to know what has worked for you because has going, has gone like the extreme worked or just like disciplinary changes because I'm, I'm going to work on that next month. I started the, the food changes. I'm going to work on disciplinary changes next month, although I already have started implementing some things, and I'm going to talk about that in my book review for the month. Um, so look for next week's video, I believe is the last week of the month. Yes. No. Week after. Two weeks. In two weeks, look for that video, because that video will explain and um tell you like the kind of disciplinary changes I would like to implement in my life and in my family because I think that these disciplinary changes along with the diet changes will help. Um, but I want to know what you've done because I am brand new to this. <laughs> I am winging this thing we call life and momhood and I need help. I need your help because I can't do this on my own. <laughs> I am 
not always the best at it, and I have tons of questions. And so if you know anything about any of this, please feel free to drop a comment below and uh, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys have a good week.